racers and sim racers. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built Samsung G7 ceiling mounted display stand with adjustable angle and height. But first, let's see what's in the box. This is the rear cover for the connectors. And this is the included VESA mount, but we are not going to use it because it hides this nice LED effect that this monitor has in the back. This is the external power supply, USB cable and display port cable. This is the lower part for tabletop stand. And this is the upper stand. We're going to need some parts from this piece for this build. And finally, the 32 inch 240 hertz 1 millisecond response time curved display Samsung Odyssey G7. So let's begin with the build. I make the first few pieces on the lathe. During this build, absolute precision is required. I don't want any sagging or misalignment between the monitors. I use the centering drill bit to make sure the hole is centered. I drill the hole and finally I tap the thread. I use the piece to mark the place where I need to cut. As I mentioned before, the precision while making this must be high. And these pieces need to be welded together at exactly 90 degrees. After welding, I remove the excess material with the angle grinder. Now I need to make some new pieces. Those pieces need to be welded here. I made this jig thingy to make sure I weld it perfectly in the desired position. These pieces will be used to slide the displays to compensate the distance while changing the angle of the side displays. Now I need to weld these two pieces together. But first I need to make this dent for the spacer, just like it is on the original stand. I just tack welded it in place before I make the final weld. I trimmed off these side pieces and I will be using the cut pieces to reinforce this part. Now I have to make a little car. Look at it go! Ok, joke aside, this part will be used in the sliding mechanism to be able to adjust the three displays height just like you can with a single display with the original tabletop stand. I added these additional two wheels, not just to make it look cooler. They are slightly raised to make some pretension on the bearings. I want this pretension to make more resistance while moving displays up and down. It will make them stay in the desired height. Of course, some spring will be added as counterweight. And finally, I need to weld the two pieces together. Thank you. 
want to hear a disturbing sound? That was not good. Yeah, that was the sound of steel hitting the camera gimbal. All good in the end, the gimbal took it like a champ. I'm assembling the stand for the first time in the workshop to make sure everything is ok before the final paint job can be done. This is the original piece I removed from the tabletop stand. I need this piece to have tilt and rotational adjustment. Now I just need to make them level to make sure everything is alright. Checking how height adjustment is working. And finally, adding some spring as counterweight. Yeah, I should visit the real gym. And now everything is ready for the paint job. The final assembly can begin. The spring will be hidden inside the steel tube. I am using a piece of rope to pull it in. This screw will hold the spring in the final position. I made additional holes to be able to adjust the spring tension if display weight changes. Maybe I will install some additional displays to it or some other stuff later on. I also made this screw to be able to lock the display height position. And finally I installed some clips for cable ties to hold the cables. And that's it! I can finally mount it in my sim room.
After aligning the displays, there is a few things left to install. I 3D printed these parts. And it's done! I really love the design of these displays and the LED backlight. They are looking really futuristic. Look at all the adjustments I can do. And this is how it looks in the scene. This is iRacing Ferrari GT3. I will go in more detail about this setup in the coming videos and even compare it to VR. So make sure to subscribe. Needless to say, this screen setup is amazing. <laughs> This is how it looks in Assetto Corsa.